Halloween. Hello everyone, Spongeer here, and welcome back to Quick Tunes. Today I'm reviewing a spooky episode because today we're reviewing regular shows Terror Tales of the Park. In this episode, the characters tell spooky stories on Halloween night. This is the first of two Halloween specials that I'm going to be reviewing this year, and I'm doing this one first because I've been reviewing SpongeBob this entire year. So it's about time that another cartoon gets the spotlight. And for those who aren't too familiar with regular show, Terror Tales of the Park is actually the first episode of a series in regular show, where every Halloween the characters tell three scary stories, and one of them is always 11 minutes. However, it's important to note that with this episode, you don't actually get that context until after the first story, which isn't a thing in other episodes of this series, but yeah, that is what's going on here. The first story is called Creepy Doll, and it's told by Pops. In this story, Story, Mordecai and Rigby make Pops get rid of a creepy doll, a doll that comes to life and wants to draw on everyone's faces. This is a good story to start off, even though it is the weakest story in terms of conflict, but it's actually kind of done on purpose. I mean, you don't want to start off with the best story, so it makes sense. The chase scene with the doll is very well written, and the doll itself is creepy, but it's funny creepy, even though it is very ridiculous. I mean, he wants to draw on people's faces. That's not really that threatening, but it's a fun story all around. The second story is called Crash Pit, and it's told by Muscle Man and High Five Ghost. In this story, Muscle Man and High Five Ghost want to take an abandoned vehicle into a crash pit, but turns out the vehicle is haunted by ghosts of a metal band. Also, I did think it was funny when Mordecai told everyone else to stop inviting Muscle Man to stuff after he complained about the first story, and that transitions into Muscle Man and High Five Ghost's story very well. It's very smooth, and you don't realize that it's a story until the very end. Overall, Overall, it's a good story, I don't have much to say here. The ghost conflict here is pretty interesting, and the metal band is great here, especially their goofy song. For how much this song is awful, it's very catchy, and I've had it stuck in my head ever since I watched this episode. Overall, another good story, but the really, really good story here is the third one, called In The House. In this story, Rigby eggs a strange house on Halloween night, but the owner of the the house turns out to be a wizard and puts a curse on Rigby. A curse that turns Rigby into a house. Yes, I know this is 11 minutes. It's double the length of the other two stories, but it's easily the best both in comedy and story. Let's start with the wizard. I think he's such a great antagonist here. And he's an antagonist that's somewhat justified. I mean, would you want your house to be egged? What Rigby did was very stupid and very jerky. I could absolutely see why the wizard did the thing that he did. Also, this story has some really good jokes, like Mordecai's trick-or-treating scam at the beginning, or the cop's interaction with Rigby, Muscle Man wanting to use Rigby's toilet, and Mordecai's comment about being the same height as Rigby after getting decapitated. Oh, and also how Muscle Man gets killed by the wizard using his own shotgun. And speaking of which, this episode gets kind of dark. Every main character except for Rigby gets killed off here. Mordecai gets decapitated, Muscle Man gets skinned, and High Five Ghost guts literally spill over Mordecai and Skips. This is a dark episode, and it also shows how much the wizard is a good character. He's so creative in how he kills all these characters. This story out of all three actually seems the most fitting for Halloween. This one gets the vibe so well, and it's great. Easily the best story. And I also liked Muscle Man trashing Rigby's story after he gets done telling it. It's a nice way to end the episode. Overall, all, of course, this episode is great. All three stories do what they do well, especially for Halloween. It's a classic special that you could easily watch every Halloween. You can easily tell watching this why they want to do more, because it's such a cool concept, even if it is inspired by The Simpsons. Definitely worth checking this out. Overall score, 8 out of 10. I'm a Spongeter, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>